decided to do this look that I'm wearing right now. I decided to play with my Morphe X Catherine Lights palette. I'm sure you're all aware that this was limited edition and you are no longer able to purchase it. On a good note, I only used two custom shades of hers, which was this dirty penny copper pretty color right here and this also this orange shimmery just beautifulness. I decided to play with a little bit of the orange, a little bit of this mustard, and for the shading like on the corners and the crease, I did this shade right here, which is actually tr called Trouble. This is actually in a different Morphe palette, and I also use this cranberry deep dark purpley red, which is actually a single eyeshadow that you can get through Morphe. So all of these that are custom, which is I know this one for sure is custom, this one's custom, this one's custom, and I'm sure this one is also custom. All of Kathleen Light's customs are just are mainly the ones that are the limited edition the rest of these there are only like what six that she did that were custom made out of this palette the rest you can actually still go through morphe and the only ones that i used that were custom i'm sure you can duplicate with something like you can even use a highlighter i've seen some gals use it and i think it's just so amazing so without any more discussions i hope you guys enjoy the video if you want to know how i got this look then just keep watching and i see i will see you guys next time bye Alrighty you guys, with my eyes set and primed, I start off with the top third row shade. It kind of looks a little orange, a little brown possibly, but I thought it would be a good starting color for this look. I just kind of wung the colors in this palette, but I definitely wanted to go for a warm look. So I started off by blending my entire lid using my Spectrum B06 brush. I know I didn't show it to the camera, but I do right after I blend both of my eyelids. I then start showing my brushes, but I went a little quick with that, so I will list all of the products that I use down below. I'm sorry for that. So once I get done with that, I move to my Spectrum A08 brush to apply the bottom third row shade in the palette. I'm sorry I didn't show that either, but the shade is basically a darker orange slash red kind of brown shade, and I'm basically following the same blend pattern. This look does take a lot of time, but it is so worth it. The look just comes out really smooth if you do just blend and blend away. It really is worth it. I love the colors these two shades made. So I could have kept going with the, with the blending, but I'm sure you guys don't need to watch me for a half hour of me just blending. You guys know the drill. Blending is the golden key to a good eye look. Sorry for the weird look I was listening to. Avril Lavigne and yeah I don't know what I was doing there but that's Avril Lavigne that's my girl I have to express my love so once I get done with my lids I then take a spectrum zero well sorry C06 and tap back into my first shade and softly go back and forth into my crease to just blend those two colors out I then take my spectrum A13 to apply my bottom fourth shade it's kind of like, what, a honey mustard color, I would say? I wouldn't say just mustard. It's not really bright. It's just kind of just a darker yellow. I don't honestly know why I used the shade. I just kind of went for it. Um, I know that you don't have to add it if you don't want to, but if you want to go big, then go for it. You have my support, 100%. <laughs> I went so slow here, but oh well. Yay! I finally show the palette after a couple times. Not, I'm sorry, but I wanted my crease to be a little bit darker, so I grabbed my Spectrum A12 to build off that deep cranberry color I used, and I continued to blow on my brushes because I don't always have a soft hand when I apply, so I always take a, I always take uh, extra color off when it comes to steps like these. I do it slowly; be it, it becomes worth when you take your time. I definitely learned the hard way. But now it's time for some shine once I get done with this. So I take a Spectrum A13. I have a lot of Spectrums. When I got the brand, it came with like 34. So I will try and find different brush sets so you guys don't get sick and tired of hearing Spectrum. But anyways, A13. I use this and tap into Kathleen Light's custom top fourth row shade, which is, it's basically a clean penny shade, and I take it basically to the center of my lids. I thought this would be so pretty. I really did. I love the colors Kathleen Light's put in this palette, but hey, like I said, just because you can't get the palette doesn't mean you can't reach for these colors through Morphe. I believe in you. <laughs> Sorry. So here I am going back and forth into B06 to blend the crease. I did clean it off camera, so yeah, 
that's just what I do. You don't worry about it. It's clean, even though, hey, no one's perfect. Anyways, I don't want to add any more at the moment. It's why I cleaned it. I wasn't just, I wasn't ready to just want to even, to, I just, ugh, sorry, I just wanted to even look out. So then I take a Spectrum A16. It's just a flat round applicator and dip it into her other costume shade that kind of looks like a, a dirty penny now <laughs> and apply to my outer corners to hype it up a little bit if that makes any sense. Then I basically reuse A12 to use the second row. It's basically the first on the top shade which is in a Morphe palette I believe. I believe it actually is. I will let you know which palette it's in. It's just all I basically do. Wait no, memory's refreshing. This shade is in a palette and I will just place it down below with all my other listed products. The shade is actually called Trouble. It's actually just a cool tone brown and I just use it to deepen my uh, corners just a little bit. I think I'm gonna just start tapping the palette, the palette to reduce how much is on the brush because I just think my face looks a little bit too weird but I do have trust issues with that. I just don't know yet. I'm so indecisive, just personal problems. So anyways, I use a smudge equal tools to go into my very first shade to go over trouble to just blend the whole look out. It's just basically all I'm doing. I just wanted everything to look a little bit even. So before I work on my under eye, I want to get this face caked. So I used the Argan Oil Primer and just wanted to skip that part. Not gonna lie, I didn't like the way my armpits looked a little in the camera. Sorry, it was weird. But moving on, I decided to look matte. I used the Fit Me Matte Poreless in Ivory and I used a two-step blend. I first use a Spectrum A02 to first apply and then I take a Beauty Blender just in case. I don't have any streaks. I didn't see any, but I just, I wasn't taking any chance. I just wanted just to double check, make sure I had a smooth, just baby's butt face. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit to set the face. I had to skip my concealer. I couldn't find it. So just moving on to that. I use Spectrum A04 for my con contour. As always, it's just the brush I love to use to add to it. And I'm just going into that middle banana color shade just to basically light up my T-zone is all I'm doing. Basically right there. So I use this fluffy A01 brush and dip into the contour shade and apply everywhere. Sorry if I'm skipping a little bit ahead. I know I was taking a little while here, but I just wanted to make sure. There it is. There's my A01 brush. So anyways, I am just dipping into that center one. That is my just go-to center. I dibble dabbled with the other two, but those shades just look a little too red for me. So basically, I'm just not wanting to contour here. I just kind of wanted to give my face just some color. I didn't want to have any just straight up contour with this look but technically okay i wanted to add a smidge of a contour for a shop a sharp sorry a sharp jaw look and so i used the real technique sculpting brush and yeah had my way with it wanted to have a just a sharp jaw i always get a little bit antsy when i eat and it creates that extra little second chin there i hate that so when i love using this contour weight just mainly for the jaw. I wanted to just double blend everything so I'm back with the palette to just add under the eye. I went with the bottom third shade and lightly used it and then I blended the top third shade with it to smoke it a little bit. I used the same smudge equal tools and tried to match with the above shade basically. I just wanted to get everything blended out smooth, very good, very good. So to highlight my eyebrow bow I used the matte pale shade. I didn't want a crazy highlight shimmer look to it, so I just wanted to add that. I am going way too quickly, aren't I? I'm just noticing that. Eh, sorry, but there we go. There's my eyebrow bone. I'm just adding a little bit here and a little bit to my other side. I didn't want to use a huge highlight. I wanted my eyes to be mainly the focus of the shimmer and the sparkles and the brightness. I wanted that to be just the showcase. I did, however, wanted the shimmer shade palette in my inner corner, so that's just what I decided to use. So using my CoverGirl Lash Blast, I did coat my top and bottom lashes. 
I know I'm still going a little bit farther ahead, but I must move on. So that is what I use. And I love this look because it just looks amazing without falsies. If you want a tutorial with some falsies, let me know and I will get on it. Don't worry, I will get you. I gotcha. So you know you can absolutely add la falsies if you want to. I'm not saying you can't with this look. You absolutely can. It's your look. There are no rules. Like, just nada. You got this. You do whatever you want. And I would be just excited to see who would want to copy this look. It's unique in every way. So, no biggie. So, the camera wasn't picking up the lipstick I'm applying. And so, I just decided just to continue with it. It was just, there was nothing else I can do at the moment. So, I'm just applying Maybelline Blush Beige. However, the more I just added to it just the more I did not like it it was just looking a little bit too pale for me so the way I helped it was I just topped it off with another lipstick you can do that or if you just want to replace the shade you absolutely can but I just decided to go with a different shade so I went with the color uh, whisper Maybelline and I went in with the shade 75 rose of attraction I did uh, use that as my very first video. I love this lipstick. It just helps everything. It's not strong. I was happy with it. I'm sorry I forgot to show myself adding black eyeliner, but yeah, this is the look, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!